At the drop of the ramp, the soldiers advanced, ready to serve queen and country. It was at the port of Dieppe where the armies had met, knowing the day would get bloody. The soldiers all knew in 1942 what happened that day would define them. It was the first major shot that Canada got to prove they deserved consideration. It was at British headquarters where they drafted the orders OP Jubilee was created. It involved an advance into northern France and eventually the country liberated. Canada sent over 5,000 men to penetrate the German defenses. Once ashore, they would have pressed forward and destroy the Axis entrenchments. The plan fell apart right from the start when the landing craft were discovered. After the smoke had cleared, it was pretty clear the Allied soldiers were slaughtered. The Germans now knew in 1942 that the Red Devils were coming. Soldiers didn't divert despite the guns on alert. For their country, they would keep going. When the ships hit the beach, the guns began to preach. They rained down death and destruction. Some only got a few feet before fate they didn't meet. The Canadians were driven by ambition. As planes flew overhead, they could only see dead. With a sudden pop, the pilot's plane started dropping. He heard a whistling sound as he fell towards the ground. His beloved plane became his coffin. With losses on the ground and planes falling down, the order was given to fall back. Ships began to retreat and left men on the beach. A small force stayed behind to attack. The day came to an end with over 1,000 dead. Many of those were Canadian. They fought and they died full of northern pride, never able to fight again. Fathers, brothers, and sons who fought and fired guns, proud to serve queen and country. It is in their death, lest we forget the sacrifices they made selflessly. It's 1944 and Canadians again pour onto the beaches of France. The lessons learned from 1942 would be used in the Allied conquest. <laughs>